Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I let you know that if you are a voice meter user, that Microsoft had lifted the safeguard hold, preventing the update to Windows 11 24H2. And as mentioned in that video, which will be linked down below in the end screen, voice meter users can now update to this year's annual feature update. Now, just to let you know that Microsoft once again has lifted another safeguard hold. And it's regarding the fact that after installing Windows 11 24H2, certain devices might and were experiencing problems with fingerprint sensors. Where Microsoft had originally said that uh, these devices, for these devices, the sensors can become unresponsive after locking the device. And resulting from this issue, Windows Hello fingerprint can't be used to authenticate and users will need to unlock or log into the device via a different method. And because of that issue, Microsoft had placed a safeguard hold on devices from upgrading to Windows 11 24H2. Now, the so-called good news with this known issue is originally um, it was affecting more the minority than the majority. Okay, because fingerprint sensors, not everyone has access, obviously, to that technology. But um, the good news um, is, as mentioned, that safeguard hold has been um, lifted and resolved. And Microsoft has officially said now over on their known issues health dashboard page that uh, the issue was resolved with Windows updates released on the 8th or 9th of October. Uh, that would be depending on your region, obviously. And that was with KB5044284 or later. And Microsoft says it recommends you install the latest security update for your device as it contains important improvements and issue resolutions, including this one. So basically how what you need to do to resolve this issue is just make sure your device is updated with the latest updates. And Microsoft also says that the safeguard hold has been removed as of November 8, 2024. And eligible devices um, with no other safeguard hold should now be able to install Windows 11 version 24H2 via the Windows Update release channel. So that would be via Windows Update. And as always, they say that it can take up to 48 hours before the, the update to Windows 11 version 24H2 is offered. But what I always suggest is if you want to get the update, um, just restart your device don't shut down restart your device and that can hurry up and quicken up the process so that's another safeguard hold that's been lifted there are still plenty others which we may look at in a future video once again and i've posted on them previously but slowly but surely emphasis more on slowly microsoft seems now to be fixing a couple of these known issues and obviously as they do get fixed and i get that information i'll let you guys know so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one